In this program, we're going to learn about amphibians. What is an amphibian? An amphibian is an animal that begins life in the water and moves on to land as an adult. Frogs, toads, newts, and salamanders are all amphibians. Amphibians live in different habitats all over the world. A habitat is a place where an animal can find the food, water, and shelter it needs to live. A leaf frog is an amphibian that lives in the warm and wet rainforest habitat. Many salamanders live in wetlands and swamps. Newts are amphibians that live in forests and ponds. There are many types of amphibians, and they come in all colors, shapes, and sizes. However, all amphibians share common characteristics. For example, all amphibians live part of their lives in the water and part of their lives on land. Adult frogs like all amphibians, lay eggs. Young amphibians, like these baby frogs, hatch from eggs, but do not look like their parents. They're called tadpoles. Tadpoles live in the water. They have gills to breathe. As they grow, their body shape changes. Tadpoles grow into frogs. Frogs, like most adult amphibians, develop lungs to breathe and live on land. A salamander's skin, like all amphibian skin, is moist and it's protected by a slippery layer of mucus. All amphibians are cold-blooded. The outside environment controls their body temperature. Amphibians need the sun's heat to warm their bodies. Amphibians have different characteristics from other animals. For example, amphibians have a backbone and an internal skeleton. A mammal, like this buffalo, has a backbone too. However, a buffalo is covered with fur or hair not a moist skin. A mammal is not an amphibian. Amphibians are cold-blooded, and so are fish. But amphibians eventually grow lungs. Fish only have gills. Fish are not amphibians. Like amphibians, birds lay eggs. However, many amphibians lay their eggs underwater. Birds lay their eggs on land. And birds are covered with feathers. They do not have smooth, moist skin like amphibians. Birds are not amphibians. Now that you better understand amphibians and their characteristics, here's something to think about. Reptiles, like this alligator, are distant relatives of amphibians. What's the difference? Think about it. <laughs>